made in Hollywood. A screenwriter is a writer who adapts an existing work or who creates an original screenplay for production in movies or television. John Gayton studied drama at Vassar College. Mr. Gaytons began his career as an actor and has transitioned to the role of screenwriter where he has worked on such projects as Coach Carter, Real Steel, and Flight. I'm John Gaytons, I'm the screenwriter of Power Rangers. You're watching Made in Hollywood, and here's a scene from Power Rangers. Just to remind me of my screw up. You know, I don't think we're ever gonna understand each other. They're gonna come here every Saturday just to graduate with all these other weirdos and criminals. As a screenwriter, and obviously using Power Rangers as an example, what does your job entail? Like, from start to finish, what is it even like? Being a screenwriter, oh. Well, look, it's, it's kind of, it's a lot of things. You know, it's part trying to take a lot of creative ideas from different people. We had the folks at Saban who have been telling the story of the Power Rangers for 30 years around the world you know, and all the different iterations of it. So they were a great source of all of the knowledge and all of the like we know. It's like, so they would point us to things that we hadn't thought about and also would say to us, we think it's important to honor certain things like in the movie and we know we have an, like a certain box we have to put it in because a screenplay needs to be around 120 pages. So it's like, how do you tell five origin stories and all the mythology and a bad guy plot and save the world and do all these things inside of that like template. It's a challenge. So part of the, I think the process for being a screenwriter in this movie was hearing all those really smart voices and trying to like, as Dean used the expression, to cherry pick the things to try to stitch them together. So this is where you come every Saturday instead of practice. Tragic. <laughs> How did you learn the skills that you would need to know to be a good screenwriter? The best example I can give you is the Karate Kid movies, which I grew up on. Wax on, wax off, you know karate? I read a thousand scripts as an actor, and I suddenly knew the shape of the screenplay without knowing that that's what I was learning, because I auditioned for tons of parts I never got, but I had the opportunity to read the scripts that I was auditioning for. So when I sat down to write my first screenplay, I was like, I wonder if I know what a screenplay looks like. And then it's like I started typing, and I was like, I do know because I've read thousands of them. Hey, it's a restricted area. Uh, guys? There's something in there. What are the other personal qualities and characteristics that you think teens need or young people if they really want to succeed in this industry? I think be willing. It's like, you know, be willing to to do what, what, what's asked. It's like, I know we all want to be Steven Spielberg or Catherine Bigelow or like whoever it is we want to be. There's a route to get there and it's not always straight up. It can be a lot of sideways. It can be a lot of basement. It can be a lot of... So I think like showing good energy and realizing that like it's really hard and you know working in the movie business there are so many ways like I've done so many different jobs in the movie business I really have I've written I've acted poorly in movies I've produced I've done a lot of different things I've held a boom mic it's like just get involved it's like you know and keep an open mind and be uh, you know a really good observer of what's going on and just be willing I feel like that's something that a lot of actors do if, because acting is so hard, you know, they go on auditions all the time and they may, they may not get jobs, but then they end up becoming screenwriters or directors because they're like, well, if I can't get into someone else's movie, I'll just make my own movie. Right. Well, that wasn't the case when I got in the business, but it is now. It's like, because I still get things sent to me where it's like, hey, look at what these kids did. It's like these kids in Illinois, they made this little seven minute movie, check a look. Boop. And they send it, it's on my phone and I'm sitting in a car reading, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. So the opportunity to create your own content now gives nobody an excuse to be like, gee, I can't make it. It's like, really? You have a phone in your pocket that's like more technically advanced than Cecil B. DeMille ever had. It's like, go make your movie. Guys! What is it? Somebody should have pointed that out. Wait, I did. What advice do you have for any young aspiring screenwriters then? Write what you know. Um, and, you know, don't judge yourself. It's like, you know, I think the hardest thing, for, and it still goes for me, and I've been doing this for a thousand years, is that you look at the blank page and you go, I just, there's not, I can't, it's, you know, but really good screenwriting is rewriting. I think any screenwriter will tell you that, but you have to write it in order to rewrite it, and that's, I think, the most difficult part. So my advice for young screenwriters is just write it, just write it. It's like there's plenty of screenwriting programs out there. It's like 
just get one and sit and just write your script and realize you're gonna rewrite it, you're gonna improve it. Like, that's the process of really becoming a screenwriter. None of us really know each other, but we were all in the same place when Billy found those coins. What is that? Made in high.